am in Dallas and I thought it'd be fun to do a little book shopping, bounce around from some of the cool spots here. I was looking it up on the maps and we are nearby a few really cool ones. So today's plan is to stop by those, check them out, give you guys a little vlog and hopefully a haul. So let's go check it out. Hi guys, popping in really quick to give you a word from today's sponsor, Casetify. If you're unfamiliar with Casetify, first of all, don't know where you've been, but they are the world's number one tech accessories brand, and they're mostly known for their super protective phone cases. I've been a huge fan of Casetify cases for years, just because they do offer such extreme protection, and I'm very, very clumsy, but without having to sacrifice style. Like, they're still sleek, they look so nice. They actually have over 2,000 designs available so there's plenty of options and they're all like really cool and trendy and I love that you can customize them. Casetify actually just launched new iPhone 14 cases with their EcoShock technology. These cases can withstand up to 109 drops which is four times the military standard and it can withstand drops from 8.2 feet. The EcoShock technology is actually exclusive to the iPhone 14 cases but if you have an older generation like myself. Don't worry, they still have insanely protective cases for you as well. So I'm actually going to do a drop test with my phone so you can see just how protective these cases are. Okay, this angle's weird, but I'm going to hop on this bar stool and drop my phone. <laughs> Look at it, perfectly intact survive the fall that was actually terrifying but case to fight they got my back. Another thing that I really love about Casefy is that they are constantly partnering with artists in like diverse communities. They've actually partnered with over 300 artists around the world and one of my favorites that I would like to spotlight is Rora Blue who has actually started the Unsent project and each one of these phone cases are so unique. They all have different unsent sort of text on the back of them. And I also want to add that Casefy has a re-Casefy program where they recycle old phone cases. So so far with the Recasify program, they've recycled over 51,000 cases. So they're phone cases that you can feel good about purchasing and using. Not only does Casefy specialize in phone cases, they also have a ton of really cool accessories like phone charms and phone straps, which I think are so cool. These would be amazing for like a festival or something. Anyways, Casefy's new iPhone 14 impact cases are now available and you can get 15% off your order. I'll have my link here for you guys on the screen as well as in the description box. So check that out before you leave. Thank you Casefy for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And now, back to the vlog.
Okay, we just got back from book shopping. The sun has already set. It's so dark already. It's only like 5.30. So I'm in the bathroom recording. There might be a little bit of echo, but the lighting is a lot better here. So I ended up hitting three bookstores in Dallas, and I got this really adorable tote in Deep Vellum Books. Overall, I ended up getting seven books today, and I tried to get a little bit out of my comfort zone, so I have some interesting reads that I am a little bit nervous about, but I think they'll be really good. So I'll start with this one. This is actually from the last bookstore we went to. I think it's called Lucky Dog Books. That bookstore was really, really cool. You could tell that it is definitely like family owned it's an indie bookstore but it's like a used bookstore they had so much inventory it was honestly a little bit overwhelming but they had everything that you could imagine in there they had anything from books to movies the book that i ended up grabbing was the damage by caitlin warner i love the cover of this one definitely giving me some fall vibes which is just what we need also, I unintentionally grabbed a lot of like heavier reads this time around because this one does deal with essay, which is definitely a heavier topic. This one is described as a complex, suspenseful story of the shocking and unexpected consequences of essay. And of course, I can't say the full terminology here on YouTube because my video will be censored. And on the little inside jacket here, it says an edgy, propulsive read about what a family pushed to the brink will do in the name of love and blood. So right off the bat, this one's reminding me a little bit of When We Were Bright and Beautiful, and I actually really enjoyed that book. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out, and this one was priced really well because it was at the used bookstore. As I go through like the other books, those were so, so pricey. You guys know how indie bookstores are, especially when you're in like a downtown area prices are a little crazy but it's always important to support local if you can so these three books that i grabbed are actually from poets in oak cliff it's a really cute bookstore it was really teeny tiny they didn't have a ton but they had a lot of like interesting selections there if you're a history buff they had a lot of really cool reads there the one that i ended up grabbing was by jody pickles and she's one of my favorite authors i've read so many books from her and i've enjoyed every single one she always makes you feel everything. Her writing is just exquisite. So this is Wish You Were Here, and I've heard a lot of really good things about this one. This one's described as a deeply moving novel about the resilience of the human spirit in the moment of crisis. So like I said, a lot of heavier topics. You guys will see an ongoing theme. I can't wait to start this one. Another one from an author I love, Alice Feeney. I'm finally going to read Daisy Darker. I have heard so so many good things about this one. Her book, Rock, Paper, Scissors, is one of my favorite recent thrillers, so I have no doubt that this one will be just as amazing. So this book is about a family reunion turns murder mystery, which is always a favorite of mine. Family arrives, each one of them harboring a different secret, then at the stroke of midnight as a storm rages, Nana is found dead. An hour later, another family member follows. In this little family reunion, they're trapped on this island and they're left to figure out who done it. Always in the mood for a good thriller, so I can't wait to get started on this one. Kind of want to start it now, but I don't know. And then the last one that I got from there is by Nick Hornby. This is Just Like You. And this one is like a rom-com. You know I had to get a little rom-com in here. What happens when the person who makes you the happiest is someone you never expected. So this is kind of like the tale of two unexpected lovers, which you know we love around here. Also, I was just really drawn to the cover on this one. The colors are so pretty. So like I said, any bookstores have a really high markup on their books. So those three books were $70, but it's okay. It's all right. And then I have three last books from Deep Vellum Books, which is another pretty small bookstore, but it was really, really cool. And I found out that they're also a publishing company. So a lot of the books in there were published by them, like this one right here. Apparently they hold like a lot of different events and poetry nights and a lot of the books that they did carry in there were poetry or like short stories. So definitely an interesting selection from what you would normally find at like a Barnes and Noble. Something a little bit different. So I definitely went out of my comfort zone with these three I believe. Um, they're a little bit more thought provoking than my usual reads. This one is The Ancestry of Objects and again heavy. I don't know if I should put a trigger warning on this. 
This one is about suicidal ideations. A young woman meets a man at a restaurant. They exchange words only briefly, but by the end of the week, he has entered her world with an intensity rivaled only by her desire to end her life. This is actually a pretty short novel, one that you could easily sit down and read in a single afternoon, which I kind of plan to. <laughs> Same with this one as well. This is New Animal. I love the cover, of course. Um, this is by Ella Baxter, and what drew me in is it says for fans of Sally Rooney's brand of millennial malaise, but it has a little bit of like a twisty dark turn to it because this does take place with the main character's family-owned mortuary business. Another really short novel here. So one of the top quotes on the back of this book is a raw and irreverent portrait of one young woman's experience of the ways in which sexuality and sorrow overlap. A startling and intense meditation of sex, death, and uncontrollable responses a body has to both. So it definitely sounds interesting. I will definitely update you guys on how these go. The last one that I grabbed from there is all About Love by Bell Hooks. And this one is basically like a self discovery of what is love, what it means to the author of this book. The quote on the back of this book is a brave, intelligent, vulnerable look at the most sought after and least examined emotion. By being honest about the barriers of love, Bell Hooks makes it more possible. So I think this one's going to be an interesting read. And I also really like that this bookstore included a bookmark with every book that you buy so those are all the books that i picked up i will keep you guys posted on all my thoughts if you've read any of these let me know what you think but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and i will see you again soon bye